CNS, your source for news in Helios, an independent arm of the Andromeda Initiative. Can't tell if I leveled up there or not. So that's what the Ked are up to, transforming people into willing slaves. Now we know why they take so many prisoners. Well, they're sure as hell not taken anymore. I need to talk to you about stasis revival and those protesters in hydroponics. I see. Maybe I should get the others for this. Protesters have seized hydroponics? They want their families out of stasis. The outpost on Eos disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks, dozens of people. The protesters want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... We can't wake those families. We don't have the resources, and there's nowhere to put them. Then what's the point of all those outposts I've founded? People need more than Space Rider. They need work they're trained for, and we don't have placements for those families. If I just toss them to any outpost with a spare bunk, they become a burden we can't afford. What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. At gunpoint <laughs> if we must. If they resist, a few might land in medbay, but it's better than losing hydroponics or the Nexus. We have to look at the bigger picture. Get them out of there. Kangros? I'll send in a team, but it might go smoother if Ryder's there. A good idea. Sometimes we have to give bad news. That's a Pathfinder's duty, too. Supply request is in. Meds, mail, and MREs coming your way. Talk to Ton right now. Is your office getting bigger? Everything we achieve will be seen here. Well, old man, we're getting there. Put in a good word for us. Colonial affairs. Tan likes to think he's keeping an eye on us. The Angara have not. Congratulations are in order. Peaceful contact with the Angara. It's everything the initiative stands for. It was amazing. A culture we'd never met before, in a brand new galaxy. I was just glad to be part of it. It's a moment to savor. In the Milky Way, first contact was a rare event. I hope rescuing the Moshe leads to stronger ties between our people. Did you have some other business? I'm curious. What do you know about the people who backed the initiative? What everyone knows. Gian Carson was the founder and visionary. Unfortunately, she died on the Nexus during the Scourge disaster. Is there anyone else? I would almost welcome them. A voice to silence the rabble. Then Kesh might listen. But no, we're alone. Why do you ask? I have information that suggests Garson wasn't the only one. What sort of information? It's complicated, but there was a silent partner. A benefactor. Even if that were true, we've been here 14 months with no sign of them. This partner is either a phantom, missing, or dead. No, nope. Gian Garson was the beacon. A sad end to someone of such stature. Dying alone. Oh? It was chaos. By the time they found her, she was already dead. Succumbed to her injuries. Was there a follow-up investigation? I wasn't even out of stasis. But knowing the violence of the Scourge disaster, death was everywhere. If you're suggesting something else happened, Ryder, I'd rather you didn't. Let's not add to the confusion. Thank you for your time. Ryder, if you wish to pursue this further, accessing Nexus security records may reveal more information. Something I can help you with? That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm here to serve. Man, there's a build up like a backlog of these quests. We may be here on the Nexus for a while, building up that lore. Kind of want to talk to Addison. Any logistics? Hello again, Pathfinder. How are we doing on the viability front? Aiming for success. It sounds pat, 
but you're living up to the job. I have info on a specific sleeper I'd like brought out of Cryo. I want to avoid that entirely. For reasons. Reasons? That's it? Look, you're the Pathfinder. If you've a request for your extended team, that's a request you can make. Access the sleeper records through Brecker's console. It's none of my business. Until you make it a problem for me. Understood? Yes, Pathfinder? I've been digging, and there are serious concerns about Spender. And this relates to your job as Pathfinder how? It relates to your job. <sighs> Three, four, five... Right. I've had a year and a half of doing everything with nothing. A thousand people riding me. Spender, shit as he is, helps. So, Pathfinder, if you've accusations to make, be certain. I'll drop trouble like a hot rock, but I can't lose people over suspicions. We don't have the people left. How has the Nexus reacted to the foothold I've established? People are eager to help. The shortages are obvious, but you're turning it to inspiration. Havarl is a draw for the research-minded, despite there being so little established. It remains unusual despite the corrected vault. It may yet be a surprising producer. We shall see. There's so much beneath Vold. Some are calling it beautiful, but not when I'm around. Poetry remains off-limits. Director Addison? Goodbye, Pathfinder. Good afternoon, Pathfinder. Or morning. I can keep time according to any of the worlds we've detected. Director Addison finds it annoying. <laughs> Why do some colonists have a number letter designation? All initiative members do. In a CV file somewhere, anyway. It isn't relevant when everyone is doing everything. I suppose it's like... Uh, caring about a middle name. Do you not know yours? I wasn't aware I had one. Hmm. You were in select company, even before you were made Pathfinder. Scott Rider Pathfinder. Specialist designation, A04 Malapa. Hmm. Something interesting? An A and low odds. Hmm, someone's an early adopter. Another time. Pathfinder. Give him my rewards. Maintenance crews, please report to the commons area. Ooh, on the gel canisters. It's good for most of the Pathfinder and N7. Okay. Are what are we looking for, Sam? Any information relating to Gene Carson's death? Closed. Hmm. The only hard fact is that her body was found in one of the apartments. Then connecting her death to the Scourge disaster was mere speculation. Yeah. They just wanted this to go away. I think we need to check out that apartment. Environmental data will allow us to reconstruct the scene. Man, yeah, this is getting spicy. It's like a, a mystery novel. Thanks for understanding about the outpost and the protesters. You don't strike me as the political type. I'm not. Just pro keeping everyone alive. Maybe those protesters will eventually understand too. It's done. I don't want to think about it. Need something else? Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Tracking enemy activity. Hey, Ryder, I'd like a moment. Notified. Yes? Lieutenant Syax, right? That's me. I'm putting together Apex strike teams to protect the people and assets you're setting up out there. We don't have a good sense of what we're up against and could benefit from your experience. I'll have Sam upload our insights on the Cat, Remnant, and Outlaw forces we've encountered. Thanks. You'll see. Apex will make a difference.
Just stand down, ma'am. Or you'll shoot me. Good luck explaining that to my grandchildren. What happened? She was about to disconnect the water hoses, threaten all the plants. They're saying the leaders won't wake our families. Well, this is how far we're willing to go. Their move. I know this is hard, but for the good of the Nexus, we need you to be patient. We've already waited. How old will I be by the time Mom's out of stasis? Take it easy, kid. The Pathfinder's got a point. I'll go off station if I have to. I'll find anyone who'll actually do something. You want your mom to wake up and find you exiled or dead? I... Reese, don't. Anything's better than that. Even the longest wait of our lives. When our families hear about this, they'll probably agree with the Pathfinder. You're done here. Come on. Yeah. Sleeping dragons. Surprised see that they left her apartment just open. This is where Jean Garson's body was discovered. What are we looking for? If you scan the room, environmental data may allow for scene recreation. There. This was no accident. She was murdered. As this incident occurred over a year ago, her killer is likely far away by now. Yeah. But, wait. This whole area was shuttered back then. Didn't open until the Hyperion arrived. So what was Garson even doing here? Perhaps a further scan of the room is in order. Secret door. A hidden door. What do we have here? Couple of data pads. This is Gian Garson. I don't have much time. I've been hiding in the sealed off sections of the Nexus since we got here. Someone's trying to kill me. And now I can hear them down in the hydroponics area. They're coming. I've embedded what I know in my VI in the cultural center. This log has the code. And whatever happens... Oh god, they're outside the door. Wow, this is some serious shit. Yes, deeply troubling. I have the code she mentioned for the VI kiosk. The yeah, kiosk is where I programmed that Pathfinder. Let's go. Murder is afoot, mother. Hey, you need to leave. I'm Gian Garson, founder. Of Hello there, neighbor. I'm Gian Garson, the founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I thought you might like to hear more about our plans. Sam, can we hear that message Garson talked about? Unlocking it now. Rerouting to our private channel. For years, there was a silent partner involved with the initiative. The truth is, I was running out of money. Then a benefactor stepped in. I didn't ask questions. I never met them face to face. That was a mistake. I lied to everyone. Something big spooked them in the Milky Way, and now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for the good, but... I have my doubts. And now I think they're going to remove me. Alec Ryder and I had a code word for this. Fulcrum. He may have learned more. What did that mean? Something big in the Milky Way? Perhaps your father's locked memories hold the answer. He might have known more. Yeah. Guess I'll have to keep unlocking them to find out for sure. Maybe he knew that the Reapers were coming. Get the hell out of the Milky Way. Journal. Yeah, Gil wants to play polka. Want to play polka? So how things go? The materials you found? I didn't even know there's a bar here. Bumpin'. I only know Texas Hold'em. That's your flag, everyone. Oh, what the? That's Petrobos. Hey, I was wondering if you could help me out. It's for the good of the bar. Lay it on me. So, folks try and help and all, but we have a limited pool of ingredients. 
Keep an eye out for anything interesting we could use for new drinks, and we'll let you test them for free. Right. I get a feeling the testing will be interesting. Don't worry. Dutch may complain a lot, but he's loving it. And he's the best chemist I know. You're in good hands. Another one! Damn it! This is supposed to be the chemistry lab. My chemistry lab. You all keep crawling out of the woodwork like space cockroaches. You say that, Dutch, but here you are, pouring people drinks. Uh, hi. I'm standing right here. They're guinea pigs, damn it. Chemists should have guinea pigs. Not have their labs taken over by people giving them things and... <laughs> being nice. Aren't bartenders usually friendly? You're kind of hostile. I'm not supposed to be a bartender. I'm supposed to be a chemist. Don't let Dutch put you off. He's a sweetie, really. I'm not. And the drinks are good. Damn right they are. Uh, I mean... <sighs> yeah. I'm a dirty squirrel. Get sauced. Things are shaping up, Pathfinder. Resources flowing in, sleepers ready to head out. It's starting to feel like the initiative. Not quite up to the sales pitch, but getting there. Feels good, right? I feel it, Liam. Finally getting our start. There we go. Getting our shit together. Showing the new galaxy that we have it sorted. If I keep saying it, it's true, right? So, Ryder, big news. I think I found my purpose in life. Oh yeah? What's that? Uh, thrashing you at poker? <laughs> Shall I deal? Ryder, I can read girls vital signs and give you an advantage during the game if you like. Don't. Alright? You can deal first. Having fun? Getting my ass kicked is what I'm doing. Poker's lost me several friends over the years. The only one who still plays me is my buddy Jill. I, I know, I know. Jill and Gil. The one you mentioned? Part of the initiative? Yep. Been awake since the start. Jill's a fertility expert. Heads the initiative CRC. My only real friend from back home. I bet 50. I call. The CRC? Colonial Repopulation Committee. She's always teasing that I'm making her job harder. Says if I'm not making babies, I'm part of the problem. We have that kind of relationship. Hmm. Sounds kind of disrespectful. It doesn't bother you? Nah, she's like family. Supports me unconditionally. We just ride each other like that. You should meet her. You'll see. She's amazing. Another hundred. I fold. Another one for me, then. Well, that's that. You win. I've achieved my true purpose in life. <laughs> what will I do now? Congratulations. Good game. You two. Jill predicted you'd be my downfall. Can't wait to tell her she was wrong. Another streak intact, I'll say. Ouch. Have fun. And thanks for the game. I feel like letting him win made it more chatty. It's a lot of XP gaining, but no stuff. <laughs> Missing arcs. Or show me the hops. Wow, where did you find those? Never mind, don't answer that. I think they're straight from the Milky Way. I could have waited, couldn't it? Search on Havaro. You were right. If I'd done what I planned, things would have gone badly. Ooh. I can buy the scout armor level four here instead of making it for the right price. <laughs> four twenty-five eighty. 
85 accuracy weight 33. I'll try this crusader. And I'm broke. And I'm broke. I don't know about these Angara. Whoa, it's the Pathfinder. It's me. You're the one who befriended these strange new people, these Angara. And now they're here, on the Nexus. How do we know we can trust them? I mean, for certain. Remember, we're the strangers. This is their home, and they've welcomed us. They've earned our trust. I guess. Talk to them. Get to know them. See for yourself. Good advice. I will. Easiest 50 XP I've ever earned. All clear. Gil wanted you to check in. Yeah, I thought so. So that's why you're better off to make your own stuff because the augmentation is better. This 50% help on shields is so much. Yeah, I gotta keep that on. Gil would like to chat. Or yeah, Gil. He is in engine. Strike team ready for deployment. Just ask her yourself. Because. Because. Just because. It's wrong. I take it you moved your stuff over from the Nexus. Yeah, my squatter's paradise is all the more cluttered. What's up? Is there more about Kalinda you want to share? Back home, she was upper crust. An ambassador. Respected, living the high life, but miserable. Not built for royalty, she said. With her position, the initiative sought her out as a first contact specialist. First wave out of stasis. Kalinda was the one who got me thought out early. I'm still grateful for that. But things went south soon. She hurt me. Pretty badly. What happened? Oh, let's not drum up that sob story. It's all water under the bridge. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. I want to know more. Petra, anything new? Need something? Need something done? You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. That soft, deep undertone in your voice. Gets the people going. So the anger. Hey, kid. We can talk more later. Sure. Stop calling me kid. Stop. Hey there. Hey yourself. Question for you. Shoot. When all this craziness is over, you think you'll have kids? Where the heck's that coming from? Jill. The best friend I mentioned while I was thrashing you at poker. She's starting the initiative's first repopulation effort at Prodromos. It's all she can talk about. It got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda Initiative, it, we're basically here to spawn. It took you this long to figure that out? I told you, I didn't really think this thing through. But nothing we do here really matters unless we survive. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better get busy making babies. True enough. Who knew this thing was just a glorified dating service? Eesh. The biological imperative is kind of a bummer. There are other ways to reproduce. It doesn't have to come from a romantic relationship. I guess I could donate DNA or however it works. You know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do. And I don't look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. His gun moved on before I was born. 
In a way, that sounds like my dad. Well, that's not fair. He kept you close. Made sure you and your sister came here with him. And he died for you. Yes, but the other decisions he made kept him at a distance. That can be just as bad. I see that. Still, without our fathers, we wouldn't be here. They brought us into this world. Maybe that's enough. Thanks for talking, Ryder. Where are my space monkeys? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for me. I gotta take a quick break, so thank you guys for watching. In the next session, we will continue with the main mission where we'll go back to Aya for the very first time. It feels like so long ago we visited Aya and met the Angara uh, <laughs> for the very first time. That was like a lifetime ago, but look forward to that, and we will see what our adventure unfolds like in future episodes of Mass Effect and Drama. So, like I said, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you enjoyed, drop the video a quick thumbs up. As in, and as always, have a fast day.